guys, how we doing? Welcome back to This Is Sparta. I'm sure you noticed something a little bit different. We've got a webcam on, we're doing a face cam. So you can see my gorgeous mug on every video. This is the season review for season three. We're going to do what we did for the past couple of seasons. Like We're going to go around the leagues. Who won the league? Who got European football? Who got relegated? All that kind of thing. See if there's any surprises. See how everything went down, really. So we may as well start off. We'll start off with the Eredivisie. Ajax won it, as we know. Not No one really challenging. I mean, they were, what, eight, seven points clear of PSV. They had four more wins. They're then 13 points clear of us. We finished third. We also got Europe. I did check. Come on. So Ajax won. PSV, Sparta. Relegated was Eindhoven. And one, I think it's Den Haag have gone as well. Don't know why I clicked on them. I'll find out. Yeah, so there's someone else gone down. Quintero, second time in two seasons, top goal scorer. He's absolutely dominated. 27 goals in 34 games for Ajax. He's on fire. Absolutely on fire. I mean, look at him. Can't jump, but he can finish every chance he gets. Second is Karim. I don't know how to say his second name, so I'm going to call him Karim. 24 goals for final. Again, a great record. And Finn Stock has got 17 for Fortuna, despite them finishing 12th. He's someone I am tempted to try and pinch. His stats don't look great, but he's clearly got something going for him because he's scoring that. He scored 17 in 26. Something must be going right for him. Then again, he did score about four against us. Now we'll stay quiet on that. Average ratings, Ajax dominate again. Assists, Ajax dominate again. It's not surprising they finished top of the league they've got an insane team most amount of the matches Karim I mean he got highest average rating second top goal scorer not surprised he gets eight man of the matches our only player we got into anything this year was Chris Maxwell our keeper the Welsh international value about just under a million now he's one of our best players he's been capped by Wales and he got 16 clean sheets previous record held by Sparta was 10 so, we're improving defensively. Slowly. Pretty much it for that. Let's move on. Let's go to Portugal. I think we can all probably guess the top three. Benfica, Sporting and Porto. The three you'd expect. They've dominated the league again. Benfica won it by how many points? Nine points. Sporting 79, Porto 74. Relegated was Aves and Fremund. Top goals. One from each of the top three. Mitroglou, Bastos and Viseu from Benfica, Sporting and Porto respectively. Average rating. Wonder who all of the three of them could be from. Grimaldo, Neves, Silva. Each from one of the top three. It's a bit of a theme. Same for clean sheets. Man of the matches, there's also this guy. Banyao. Banao. Bano. I don't know how to say his name. From Braga and Faroni from Estoril. Got five, but Mitroglou again bosses it. Clean sheets, the three you'd expect from the top three, really. Let's go Ligue 1 in France. I don't want to look at the playoffs, there we go. PSG dominated it, won by 12 points ahead of Monaco and Marseille in third, getting Champions League football. Lyon and Bordeaux managed to get fourth and fifth. Relegated was Metz and Troyes. Big signing, I only just noticed. I don't know if I should throw this on the stream. On the stream, on the video, last time. Eden Hazard's gone to PSG for 81 million. Went two years ago. Didn't see it happen. Not that I can remember anyway. If, I've, if I have talked about it, please let me know. Because I don't remember seeing that before. But he's really the only big, big signing. Cavani, top goal scorer. Falcianetti, second. And Gerard Moreno in third from the top three, as you'd expect. Not really main surprise. Donna Rummer. Didn't know he'd gone either. 32 million for him. Good signing. Only joined them this year. Wow. Good sign that for PSG. No wonder they're winning the league with him at one end, Hazard and Cavani at the other. Let's have a look at their team quickly. Don Rummer, Marquinhos, Goulam, Verratti, Di oh, there we go. Castillo, Pastore, Hazard, Matuidi, Kawaza, Kazawa, sorry. What a team they Lucas Prato. Jarrett Hendricks, Draxler, Dembele. 
that team. Absolutely insane. No wonder they won the league. Well, Syria, Juve and Napoli. This still hasn't been decided. I don't know when they play the next game. Let's have a look. Schedule. The second. So they play in two days. So at the end of the video, I'll jump back and we'll see who actually wins the league out of Juve and Napoli. Who do they play? If you're... Oh, no. Capri. Oh, they've got to win that. I don't have gone back too far. Juve. Who's Juve got? Who's an AZ? Probably should win as well. Anyway, at the minute, I'll do a... Actually, no. Do you know what? We'll just come back to that one when it's actually over because a lot of that could still change with who's finishes bottom, who finishes top. Could all change. Three teams could still win the league. Let's go to Germany. I know this one's finished. Bayern won it, as you'd expect. Bayern, incredible team. Leverkusen second, Dortmund third. Schalke, Wolfsburg, Hoffenheim, Leipzig, Hamburg and Montengladbach, or a German team, make up the top nine with Mainz just below them in the bottom half of the table. Top goal scorer? Is it going to be anyone else really? Lewandowski, Zapata in second and Javier Hernandez or Chicharito in third. Average ratings, Bayern dominating. Top clean sheets, probably, if I'd given you the chance of guessing... You probably would have guessed who got top clean sheets. It's Manuel Neuer. Only 13 clean sheets, though, for Neuer. But even so, top goal top goal scorer. If Neuer gets top goal scorer, I'd be impressed. Leno in second and Farman in third. Now the one that a lot of people who watch the videos care about. The English Premier League. Here we go. Would help if I clicked on it. Or is it just not loading it? There we go. It had already loaded. I think I'm just a little bit tired. So, Tottenham won the league. This is one thing I do like about the Premier League at the minute on this save. And in real life, if we go back eight years, seven years, United, City, Chelsea, Leicester, Arsenal, Liverpool, Tottenham. No team's won it twice in seven years. I am loving that. I am really, really loving that. That It's so just ver like versatile. Is that the right word? Varied. Varied is the right word, not versatile. It's so varied in who wins it. To show how va how varied the Premier League is, Leicester won the league there. They've just been relegated. So, they're down, along with Brighton and Hull. Top of the league, Tottenham. Liverpool and Man City and United make up the top four. Chelsea and Arsenal get Europa. Top goal scorer, a guy I've never heard of before, before this save. Dimitris Diamantkatos, something like that. Signed from Karlsruhe. They've been relegated from the Bundesliga. And he plays for West Brom. He's got 26 goals in the Premier League. In 37. He played every game. But he's got 26 goals. Better than Aguero. He must be a beast. But yeah, Aguero 25. Still playing for Man City. Getting on a bit now. Still got incredible physicals and finishing though. James Rodriguez of Liverpool. Came third with 17. Bit of a drop there. Average rating. James Rodriguez top. Alderweireld and Sergio Aguero. Top assist, De Bruyne. Then a bit of a surprise. Sonny March of Brighton, who got relegated. And Matt Ritchie of Newcastle, who came 12th. Nobody else. I assumed you'd have some of the top teams up here. But no. Clean sheets, Joe Hart, Courtois joint. David De Gea came third with 12. Spanish first division. Again, I get the film. We can probably guess who's won this. I get the film Barca Real. Barca won it. 104 points. Dominated, only lost two games all season, won 34 of their 38 games. Real Madrid in second, won 29. They were still, what, 13 points behind Barca though? Atletico Madrid, 88 points. Bilbao, 67. Massive drop off there from the big three in Spain. But as we go down, you can see the relegated teams are Granada, Alaves and Cordoba. Top goal scorer, it was a three-way tie for first place. Suarez, Ronaldo and Griezmann, one for each of the top teams in Spain, got 25 goals. Assists, you got Messi on 19, then Sergio Busquets, surprisingly, on 12, and Juan P on 12 as well. Top clean sheets, you probably guessed well, it's Barcelona keeper, 16, Ander Ter Stegen, Mark Ander Ter Stegen. Not much really to say about this league, really, it's what you'd expect. The ones still dominating, dominating real life. 
before I go into the transfer window, I'll just do a, give you a little run through of our team, who played well, who's on loan, who's probably going to be sold or released or whatever. So, our team at the minute, Maxwell played most of our games. He was incredible in goal, 90% of the time. Had a few brain farts, but on the whole, I am over the moon. Only conceded 25 goals in 30 games. Fantastic player. Lee Hyatt, right back. Revelation since coming in on a free transfer. His long throws just give us another dimension, another way to attack. But love him. Floranus, this is someone we do need to strengthen. This centre-back pairing, it's good, but it's not enough to challenge Ajax. We need somebody else in, in my opinion. Or Floranus needs to step up, because it's been him for the last few, for the running, really, of the season. For the majority of the season, it's been Breedike, who I had big hopes for, shall we say. And he's just not really hit up, lived up to them, unfortunately for him. Next to him, Vren's the captain. Again, massive, massive hopes. Average rating 7.11. He is a very good player. He's only one appearance away from his 100th, so I'm going to keep him. But some of anticipation 10, determination 9. It's not really top level. Go back. There we go. And die at left back. Decent. Nearly 7 average rating. Not world class, though. Never going to be world class. Probably never going to be worthy to challenge Ajax at the top. The cheese... In that registrar role, I probably my favourite player on this save at the minute, or one of definitely one of my favourite players. I mean, only on four grand a week. Twenty eight years old. So far he's been bossing it. I mean he played in thirty two of our games, he got an average rating of seven. Incredibly incredible performance from him, especially when you consider who he's alongside in midfield with Brute, still only twenty, still learning the game, still improving. Not great yet, but he's getting there. I reckon he'll end up being taken in the summer. Mainly because Arsenal and Arsene Wenger have been trying to pinch him for the past season and a half. And I've said no and no and no. I think this is probably going to be the season. They'll offer like 15 million for him. Just to make sure they get him. Duarte next to him at the minute. Because he's moaning about game time. Again, I don't know if we will be able to fight off interest for him. Maybe for one more season. Because his, some of these stats are still not brilliant. But again... Great potential. 19 years old. Come through the academy. It's going to be hard to keep hold of him as well. On the right, it's Oran Dag at the minute. 20 years old. Does his job. Needs to improve on his stamina and his passing. Other than that, the qualities that you look for in a way like crossing, technique, pace, acceleration are all really good. Love him on that side. Seven assists this year. Two goals. Fantastic. From Oh, sorry. Three goals, eight assists. Love him, love him, love him, love him. Again, one of my favourite players. On the left, Van Hoeven. Again, come through the academy. Only 19. Played in most of our games. If we manage to keep hold of him, I'll be impressed. Because I reckon there's going to be a lot of interest in the both of our wingers, actually. Van Hoeven, I reckon someone like Sunderland might come in for him. Maybe a Newcastle, a Brighton. Then up front, Bean Hacker. Hines, Bean Hacker. Played, started 17, scored 10. Incredible. Incredible debut season for him. I say debut season. Incredible breakthrough season. Let's do that. He's broken in the first team and he's managed to hold out some very, very good players to make that striking position his own. I mean, if we look, 16 finishing. He plays as a poacher. Some of his stats, 16 finishing. First touch, he needs to work on. Concentration, not great. But... He makes up for some of his physicals. I mean, if we keep him for another season, I'll be happy. I don't know if we'll be able to. Looking down, I've showed you Bree Dyke already. Manzoro brought in this season. I think it was a free transfer. Yep. Done all right when needed. Spearings, done all right when needed. It's flare lets him down, though. If we can improve that, then we might be all right. He's, not, he's much better as a deep-lying playmaker, really, rather than advanced. Brogno might be time to try and shift him on. He's only played in eight games off the bench this year. He's only won that point two grand a week. Might be worth keeping his rotation. I'm not too sure. Depending on how things pan out with these two. Hoffman, going to be one for the future. Potential's getting a bit worse. Despite the fact he's actually played in games. But a lot of his stats are not bad. Like The ones that you need from to play advanced playmaker. First touch, passing, technique, decisions, vision. 
all decent, all above 13. Composure not great. Vision, teamwork quite high. His physicals let him down hugely though. If we can prove them, I think we've got a bit of a world beater there. Could be. Maybe not a world beater, maybe a division destroyer. That's a new one on me as well. Can't believe I said that. Division destroyer. All right. Shembri won't be here next year. I think it's pretty safe to say he's going to probably end up going. He's not happy about us, about not playing really. So may as well let him go. Murich, I don't know if we'll keep him. Might loan him out again. Not too impressed. Not too upset with him. He was a free agent signing from Ajax. He did all right for Fortuna. Might be better suited to their level rather than us aiming at the top of the league. Gardner, another free agent signing. Been great since he came in. 7.06 rating. Played in 15 games since... I don't know when we signed him. About January time? February time? But another good signing similar to Lehigh. Pinto, great when called upon. I mean, played in three games in the league. Played in one in the cup and did all right. Average rating of 7 point something, seven point one eight. Tominello, unfortunately for him, lost his place towards the back end of the season to Hines, because Hines was on fire. Still a good player. I'll try and bring him in again, see if Rome will let me have him. I don't know if he'll want to come back. I say this every year. I don't think he'll want to come back because he's not playing full-time anymore, depending on what happens to Bean Hacker again. And De Freet did all right when needed in the first half of the season. Didn't really play in the second, but did all right. Goodwin didn't play. Randall did decent when called upon when Lehigh was injured or suspended. Dumfries might be time for him to move on. Didn't really do much. And Ryan, again, maybe time to move on if he's not happy with playing off the bench to Maxwell. It's very hard to tell what's going to happen with a lot of these players, to be honest. If we have a look at the under-19s, before we go into the end of the video, I'll show you the potential of some of our youngsters. There you are. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 players with 5-star potential. That is the best I've ever seen. I stand by this is probably the best team I've ever been at for youth recruitment. I mean, down to here is all 4-stars. And half these won't get, like, Vonk can't get near the team at the minute. And he's 3-stars. He's good enough. He's a good rate for the senior team. Might be time to give him a chance next year. But thank you for watching this season, guys. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you next time.